Hey Kia Fano, you're here with me, the Māori Wargamer, and today we'll be playing a Warhammer 40k Battle Report. Sure. Alright, so today Fano, you're in for a treat. We've got a, um, you've been begging for it, you've been asking me for it, bigger games, longer games, well, 80 power level battles, we've got Glencella Colts and Tyranids, versus Dark Elder and Elder, the coalition, if you will. Uh, here on this Imperial planet for the third mission of the Purging of Proxia campaign. Um, so today we'll be doing a Cities of Death um, mission, Fire Sweep. Um, so pretty much what's happened now, the uh, last mission saw the Elder Farseer obtain his relic, he's ready to leave the planet. Um, as the as the uh, fights have gone on, though, Tyranid Hive Fleet has arrived, bringing with it warriors of all sorts. The mighty Hive Tyrant has flown down. Um, the cult are celebrating the arrival of their masters um, and look to look to take over this planet, un unaware of uh, what fate will await them if the Tyranids are successful. So now. Um, the Eldar and Dark Elder have brought their forces together as well, looking to take this city so they can uh, get off this planet before the Eldar, uh, before the Tyranids destroy it. So that's what's going to happen. We've got six objective markers placed in these six city ruins uh, here, here, and here. Um, and so basically, it's just going to be good old fashioned slugfest. I want to throw my guys at him, he's going to throw his guys at me. We're going to try and kill each other. Um, when it takes all, any, um, the most, whoever controls the most objective markers at the end of this uh, six rounds will become the victor. So, stay tuned, enjoy, in for some treats, but first we'll take a close look at these uh, beautiful armies that we have arranged for you. So we have a battalion detachment of Gene Stealer Colts, Leading that force, we have the Patriarch with Monstrous Rending Claws, Primus with Bone Sword and Needle Pistol, and the Magus with a Four Staff and an Auto Pistol, uh, and both have uh, familiars with them. Three Neophyte Hybrid Squads, two Six Man Squads with uh, leaders with Lash Whips and Bone Swords. Uh, each squad has a Heavy Weapon, um, Heavy Rock Drill, Saw, and bone cutter uh, all ready to rumble. Two units of neophyte hybrids, uh, one 17 man unit, one 10 man unit. Uh, we've got two mining lasers, two grenade launchers, sergeant with a bolt pistol and chainsaw and a cult icon. This one here is uh, shotguns, um, whatever that thing is supposed to be. Power maul, flamers, yeah. Two units of pure strain gene stealers with uh, rending claws. Uh, one seven man unit, one six man unit. A uh, four man aberrant squad with power hammers and the power picks. And a goliath rock grinder uh, with dozer blade, heavy mining laser, heavy stubber. Right, and a patrol detachment of tyranids leading that the Attachment, we have the Hive Tyrant with wings and um, two Devourers with Brain Leech Worms. Ten man Termagant Squad with Flesh Borers. A three man Tyranid Warrior Squad, uh, two with Siving Talons and a Devourer. And the leader here with a Bone Sword, Lash Whip and Venom Cannon. And lastly a ten man squad of gargoyles with flesh borers and blinding venom and we'll be fighting against the dark elder and the elder the elder coalition uh, first up we have a patrol detachment of dark elder led by the archon here with a sword and a gun three squads of cabalite warriors one ten man squad two five man squads here uh, with splinter rifles agonizers all that good stuff. Three man Reaver squad with uh, Reaver jet bikes and splinter ri rifles. A Venom with twin splinter rifle, a splinter cannon and blade veins. 
Raider with a Dark Lance and Blade Veins. And leading the Eldar Patrol Detachment, we have the Farseer with Singing Spear. A 10 man squad of Guardians with Shuriken Catapults and a Heavy Weapons Platform with a Shuriken Cannon. Five man Wraith Guard Squad with uh, Wraith Cannons. A Wraith Lord with two Shuriken Catapults, a Flamer, and a Ghost Glaive. A War Walker, aka the Chicken Legs, with two Shuriken Cannons. And this big bad boy, the Wraith Knight, with two Wraith Cannons, and two Star Cannons on the shoulders, and uh, Stomping Feet. All that good stuff. Uh, get what you pay for when you're paying 150 bucks out of the box, eh? Some little nice details added on the base. I can appreciate that. Um, anyway, we'll go into turn one of whoever's playing turn one. We'll find out. Stay tuned. Alright, so Eldar have um, taken the first turn and are wasting no time moving. Um, Pikes, everyone's rushing forward. Reaver, jet, uh, Reaver oh, Venom zipping forward. Everyone holding two objectives at this point. These two stay still, and uh, the Raider has uh, flown over here, looking ready to, to uh, deploy its troops, seize another uh, critical objective. Uh, we're going into the Psychic Phase. The Farseer just cast Guide onto the Wraith Knight here, so that enables him to re-roll uh, failed hit rolls. Come in handy. We've got to see if uh, any of those hit rolls come to bear as we go into the Shooting Phase. Eldar, turn one. Right, so the Wraith Cannon, um, has taken the shot, two damage to um, to the rock grinder, but it gets its rugged construction six up save. So we'll take a look. Oh, one save. So one goes through. So Wraith Knights just finished its uh, its shooting into the truck, brought it down to six wounds remaining there. After that, I'm going into the rest. 10 Cabalites shoot through this tiny window off this boat, apparently, well look, there we go, that, that's the camera view, that, that is, the camera view is exactly what the boat's view is, so, look, there we go, that's what they see apparently, if, um, if you disagree off that, put some comments in there, but look at that view, that is the perfect bird's eye view, all 10 of them are going to try and shoot through that window. Um, but anyway, we've got, how is it, what, 10 shots? Mm -hmm. Hitting on two. Mm -hmm. Combat drugs, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. yeah that's 10 hits. Uh, 10 hits and sixes to wound. Oh, get out of town, boy. Look at that. Can't shoot that. Get out of here. Is that the end? No. Dark Lance, one shot on freeze into the Goliath truck. Wow, get out of here. Go home. So gonna use another command point down to one. Hit. Eight. Oh, eight. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, threes. A wound. Alright, so that somehow went through. That's a hit. Um, six up, looking for that six up save. Oh no. D6 damage. Five. Oh, brings it down to one wound left. Oh, that's rubbish getting the second turn, eh? What till your army get blown apart? This thing can't even do anything. Second turn, that sucks. Alright, well that's your turn over. <laughs> Alright, so the end of uh, turn one for the Eldar. Um, wiped out the Termigant squad here. Um, took out one neophyte over there. Brought this down to one wound remaining. Rubbish. Comment if uh, you feel that was trickery. Um, but yeah, we've still got some forces. We've got a whole bunch there in Colt Ambush ready to come out. 
get revenge, claim these points, could save them for the end of the game. Uh, we'll get back to you with uh, GCLA Colts, Turned Alliance, turn one. Alright, movement phase for the Gen Steeler Colts and Tyranids. These guys move forward with the Mages here. Gargoyles swarming forward into this mob here. Half Tyrants flown straight up here. Yeah, coming to take on that Archon. Um, Aberrant's deployed out of there. That thing's about to, can't even move. Otherwise it gets minus one to shooting with its only heavy weapons. These guys stay here and the Warriors over there have come out. I was going to go and roll for the uh, ambushes. So we've got three five man squads here Primus, Patriarch. I'm going to pop up and uh, surprise the field. I was going to save them for later at the end of the game, claim all the objectives, but I'm just going to come in and do it now. We'll see what happens. Alright, so end of the movement phase for the Gene Stealer Colts. These guys have arrived from ambush, perfect ambush, three inches away. As well as these guys, he's got the heavy rock drill ready to pound that uh, venom to dust. These guys come in here, patriarchs over there. Everyone is on the field, ready to rumble. We'll go uh, into the psychic phase. We've got psychic boys, psychic boys, psychic boys. Multi wargamer, action never stops. The fun never stops on this channel, you know it, you love it. Psychic phase, Gen Stealer Terrans. Psychic phase, Patriarch going to smite into the Venom. Goes off on five. Holy, the double ones again. The double ones here, Fano. Gonna command point that. I need a four, five, or a six. Oh man, Magus gonna smite. Let's say the Wraith Lord thing is the closest. Oh, that went off. <whistles> uh, D3 wounds for the smite. Two wounds. Yeah. All right, so end of Gene Stealer Tyranids shooting phase. Very lackluster. Very. What a what a dull, dull shooting. So we took out two Wraith Guard though. That was a bonus. Um, just nothing, man, nothing. We didn't do S H I S H I T. Um, so we're gonna go over for some charges, hopefully make an improvement, but uh, we'll see what's gonna happen. The promise is gonna charge into the Raider. Gonna overwatch here. Yeah. Overwatch the promise. No, I'm not. No. I realised what I was doing there, eh? Eleven. Yeah, baby. Um, so it's open top vehicle. Uh, not too sure um, if they, if the guys inside can shoot in it. It's reading the rules as they're written there. It says models embarked on this model can attack in their shooting phase. So it doesn't say anything. On Overwatch Fire, if you know any better, if you uh, know more than the Moldy Wargamer knows, then hey, leave a comment on that. But uh, we'll find out anyway later. But uh, it's going to go three attacks, sixes. <whistles> Nothing. <whistles> Woo! And the rumbles are going to begin, but we've got another charge to get into. Alright, final, so end of the charge phase for the Tyranids, Gene Stealers, turn one. Um, they're in combat. They're in combat, they're in combat, he's in combat, combat's all around the field. Uh, so we're going to make up for the horrible shooting phase and get straight into it. We've got uh, the same again, three attacks from the leader with bone sword and whip, um, six attacks from the regulars and two attacks to white dice here, the special weapons. So again, hitting on threes, come back to you. I'm going to roll off this uh, rock drill shenanigans. We've got two D6s here, so rolling for twos. Oh, one skull. Alright. But that means another wound, mortal wound is applied, so he's got three wounds. Now we're rolling a three. And it's another mortal wound. 
How many wins does this guy have? Six. Now we need a four. Yes! Five to kill it. I will use a, my command point, I've got one more left. Let's see if we can do it. Five or a six. Oh no. Alright, he's still alive. One more wound left. Alright, so wounding on fives with the black and the green dice, white dice there, wounding on uh, wounding on twos. It's the heavy rock drill. Alright, so one regular hit with no AP. Four up save. Safe. And uh, the heavy rock drill. So that's AP minus three. That's five up in the Oh, failed. Double ones for those invulnerables. And we got some funky things happening here now. Heavy rock drill. Roll a D6 each time a model suffers damage from this weapon. On a two up, the model suffers a mortal wound. And you can roll another D6. This time the model suffers a mortal wound on a three. Keep rolling a d6, increasing the score required until the model is slain or the roll is failed. Alright, All right, so that is finally the end of turn one for the Gene Stealer Colts. Man, that was like an hour just for Gene Stealer Colts to have their turn though. Uh, but anyway, we took down... That one's got five wounds. That one's got one wound left. That one's got two wounds. Yeah, it's all going off. It's all going off. We're going to skip their fighting back, but they are going to indeed fight back. And we'll go back into Eldar Coalition. Turn two. Alright, so um, in the movement phase for the Eldar in turn two. To pull these guys out of combat and disembark the Cabalites on there. Um, move the, the Farseer off the... Um, Bastion, these five Capalites have come in, uh, he's fallen back the Eldar, uh, securing the objective, look at this spot here, man, the bulk of the fighting there, uh, fallen that back, disembarked the five Capalites in that one, and uh, yeah, we're going to see some interesting stuff happen, psychic phase. Alright, Wraith Knights has finished uh, blowing the, the truck off the field there. Heartbreaking to see. The truck did nothing in itself. Uh, very, very sad. Uh, it also wiped out the um, hybrid squad there, the Acolytes. Um, Alright, so that is the end of the shooting phase uh, for the Eldar Coalition. Um, these guys have Cabalites have charged the Gene Stealers, very brave. Um, the Wraith, uh, Hive Tyrant is going to be felled by the Wraith Blade and the Wraith Lord. These guys are still in combat here. Um, yeah, we lost, we lost a whole bunch, we lost these five, these five. Um, the wounds are piling up, but at this moment, it's still too early to call who's going to, who, who can take victory. Um, as we're both holding two objectives apiece. Uh, actually, that one might be. We'll have to look at that one. But yeah, we're gonna go into the uh, into some rumbles and see what happens. All right. So end of the um, Elder Coalition turn. They wiped out four Gene Stealers in combat here. Um, the Hive Tyrant has fallen to the combined attacks of the Wraith Guard and the Wraith Lord. And uh, yeah, things are looking pretty grim. We're gonna see D6 if. Uh, the Hive Tyrant takes anyone out in his death throws. Oh! Can you believe it? These three mortal wounds to all units within three inches. We're going to come back and see what happens. The rage of the beast of the Hive Fleet up there in the sky, up there in outer space. They are uh, they're angry and he's going to lash out. <laughs> D3 wounds, baby. D3 wounds to the Wraith Guard. Oh, three wounds. 
to the Wraith Lord, one wound to the bikes. Two wounds. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Explodes in acid and uh, spews it on him. All right, Team Steeler Colts, Tyranids, turn two. Here we are, Fano. Um, Team Steeler, uh, Team Steeler attacked back, passed its leader a morale test, and took down three more Cabalites. Um, the Primus is moving forward to uh, a system in the next combat and secure another objective. Tyranid Warriors have moved forward here, secure that objective. We've got. Um, Gargoyle's still there, Aberrants have moved forward, ready to rumble out the Wraith Guard, only two more remaining. Secure this building from top to bottom. Got some advance here from the Patriarch, but uh, yeah, that's the movement. Things are getting spicy indeed. We're on, at the moment, three objectives to Gen Sealer Colts, two to the Eldar. So we're going to see, to see the psychic phase, do some uh, do some dirty smites, get some quick easy kills. Alright, so we've got some uh, cheeky smites off there, took out three of the Cabalites from the Patriarch smiting, Magus up in the building, smited onto chicken legs. Now we're going into some shooting phase, let's clean off this field, the turns are getting quicker, uh, we're coming at you. So let's uh, keep it going, keep that good time, the good vibes flowing, and a rocking and a rolling. These losers, without their big daddy hive tyrant, try to shoot into the wraith guard, did nothing, absolutely nothing. Go home. Now we've got 18 auto gun shots into the wraith guard there. Fours. Come back to you. On fives. Three wounds, no AP. Three free up saves. One fail. How much wounds? This one. Oh, almost four wounds left in that squad. Uh, we've got mining lasers. Fours. Oh, hits. And it's twos to wound. And that is um, AP minus four. They got no one more. Oh, don't they? Nope. D6 damage. Nine damage. Did it. Woo! Okay, yeah. for the for the videos, for the animations. Oh, for the Tyranids, for the aliens. Ah. Set lasers to kill. Ah. Fire sound, oh, fire effects there, Fano. Oh, we keep the entertainment. Oh. Yeah, baby. That's how you kill an enemy unit. Oh, Woo. yeah, baby. All right, so um, end of the shooting phase. The uh, neophytes in here managed to bring down the venom, thankfully. Um, I've got some special rules on it there. Um, we've got these guys here, took out the last two Cabalites over there. Wraith Guard are killed thanks to the uh, the brave heroes right there. Heroes of this millennia. Um, yeah, wow, it took a massive turn in, uh, in, that, in that shooting phase. Um, a lot of action. I'm going to change the tide of this battle. This Wraith, Wraith Knight's here, firing heavy shots. Um, I just haven't even ignored him for the, pretty much the whole game. Um, yeah, we're gonna back to flights over here. He's gonna charge in and get some charges over here as well, perhaps. Uh, we'll come back to you. Fun it, stay tuned. That is the end of Gene Steeler Colt's turn two. Um, pretty much a Gene Steeler Colt fight now. The Tyranids have left the field. They are obviously engaged in some sort of fight somewhere else on the planet the bulk of their forces this is only a small patrol detachment sent to assist but the fight still goes well um, captured another objective 
this white here uh, lost that gene stealer but Primus can easily clean them up next, next round um, Aberrant's brought this down, one more wound left on the Wraith Lord still combats here, these guys surprisingly still alive and the bulk of the force coming on the rear so stay tuned, that entertainment hit like button, yeah Moldy, where are the Moldies at? You know, they're right here, gamming it out. Um, as we go into the Elder Coalition, turn three. Right, so end of, end of the Eldar movement phase on turn three. Uh, they've just secured the objective here in the Bastion. Um, Wraith Knights lumbered over towards here, uh, provide some assistance. The Cowardly Cabalites have uh, dropped out of combat, allowing him to be shot up next turn. Cowards. Uh, the boat's moving forward. Aldar, the Farseer's coming over. Try to look important and do stuff, when really, we know he's not important. Um, Archon's moving to secure objectives. Rumbles, rumbles in the jungle. Here, yeah, baby. Uh, psychic phase. Expect to see some smite action, I do believe. Uh, anyway, what is happening? Uh, Archon is dead. Um, the objective secured. The for they uh, wiped out the forces here. Things are going a dark turn and uh, I'm getting a bit stir crazy from filming for almost three, four hours for you. You guys better appreciate the work I do. But hey, I do it out of love because I'm a multi war gamer. I am a lover, not a fighter. And uh, yeah, Fano, that is the end of turn three um, for the Elder. They've made some great gains in this mission, uh, in that turn, taking objectives, clearing off objectives, ready to secure potentially a victory against the alien. And hey, you know, if it's my choice of Elder or Tyranid victory, um, Elder will save it. They won't bloody eat the whole planet to dust, so I've got to go. Back to the Elder, always, you know me. Going into Gene Stealer Cults and um, the five Tyranid remaining Alliance, turn three. Alright, so movement phase for the Gene Stealer Cults, turn three. This pile is moving forward to claim this objective here. It was hotly under fire, but now our only low strength units remain to defend it. I'm going to try and get rid of these guys um, to secure some more objectives. So, this is a very, could be a close game. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but we're going to do some smiting, some shooting. Stay tuned. Alright, so GC, there's not a lot of shooting for uh, units remaining here. Uh, took some shots, nothing happened. Took off one wound with these guys over here. The laser didn't hit, unfortunately. Um, Oh, I'm not going to shoot with these guys actually. 12 again. Here you get that on camera. 12 shots. All the guns into the guardians in there. And wounding on fours. Any minus? Four wounds, no minus. No, we're just going to finish them here. So four, five up. Four, five up. Oh, wow. Alright, two more remaining. And end of shooting phase, we're going to do some charges there. Alright, Fano, so we had some chopping action out up here. Um, Gene Steelers tore apart the two Guardians. War Walker, Chicken Legs is dead. Um, believe it or not, this little guy. The Familiar um, delivered the finishing blow to the Archon. His uh, two up save could not save him this time. Gonzo. The battles continue, we'll finish up these two combats um, and then uh, Eldar turn 4. Nice. Alright, so end of our uh, G Steeler Colts turn 3. Uh, these two. S Positions are secured. We've taken this objective off them. Um, yeah, just this, these guys remaining in this section. 
all the action happening over here. We're going into Eldar turn four. Eldar movement phase. Wraith Knights are uh, rolling over here. Raiders here securing objective. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Turns getting shorter and shorter. Good cover to end this game. All right, so end of Eldar turn three, turn four. Um, these guys are back backtracking here. Very lightly defended. Fano could uh, sneak off and grab that. That would be so good. Um, they tried to take down the Patriarch. They failed. Uh, and we're going to retaliate now as we go into turn four. Gene Steeler Colts coming to the end of this game. All right, in movement phase. In the movement phase, moved uh, the Gene Steelers forward this way. Uh, Patriarch closest enemy model is that one wound remaining. Ray Lord, Mike's there. And we're now standing still. Let's see some uh, smart action to get rid of this guy. There is something to do. These two guys, the lasers into that. Fours, one hit. Twos, goes off. 18 minus three. Five up and vulnerable. Oh, it goes off. All right, so um, that is the end of the Gene Stealer Colts turn. Um, we killed the Wraith Lord, we killed the bikes, secured that objective. Um, now into the last fifth and final turn there. So it's uh, been a great battle. The night sky is coming up. Uh, we shall see what happens. Uh, how this game is going to end. Oh, jeez. Um, Eldar Coalition, fifth and final turn. All right, so uh, final turn for uh, Eldar. Just securing objectives. They wiped uh, my guys off there sadly, killed the Patriarch. Um, so at the moment I've only got one, two objectives to their three. Um, so I'm gonna go into the final turn, see what happens. All right, Gene Steeler Colts turn five, the fifth and final turn of this game. It has been a long game, a hard game, and I'm definitely not gonna be doing larger point battles, eh? It's a waste of time. Sucks out my soul when it goes on for that long, eh? Even though the entertainment is good, and I know you guys love it. Hope you enjoy this mission. Um, anyway, so, I've moved these last two here to secure that, ob uh, that objective. So now, it, currently, it's three apiece to us. So that's going to end the game in a tie. We don't like to see ties, and we've got two potential guys here that could destroy that and give me the win. So... We're gonna go two hits, hitting on fours. One hit, winning on two. Okay, and that's it, Fano. All right, Fano, so that's the end of uh, mission number three, Purging of Proxia, the city fight battle. Um, and it was a surprising time. So, um, Tyranids were wiped out quickly, not a lot of good. Uh, the smitings were good. Um, yeah, who was the star players of this one? Dragged on so long I don't even remember. These guys, disappointed that I just left them to sit in the buildings. But you know, you have to do what you gotta, gotta do. Not a lot surviving on this battlefield though. So, uh, ends up in a stalemate. The Eldar are able to retreat successfully. Uh, repelling the Tyranid forces. Um, and yeah, that is... The game done and dusted there, Fano. Thank you for watching. Um, make sure you, you tune in. Uh, we're coming up next campaign will be Dark Angels versus the Death Guard. Sons of the Lion versus the Trader Legions. It's going to be uh, interesting. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. I am the Moldy Wargamer. If you liked the video, give it a like, thumb it up. Yeah, baby. Happy uh, gaming. Kakite, Anno.